Here you're looking at the two best-selling power stations on the market today, the Anker F3800 Plus and the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. I specifically chose these models because they can output both 120 volt and 240 volt internally. But which one of these is the right model or the best value? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between the two, and it's not really clear cut, so let's at least start with the pricing. The Anker F3800 Plus is $29.99, and the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is a little bit less, a $27.99. Both models can run pretty heavy duty loads. Here this F3800 Plus is powering my entire shop, including my well pump that requires 240 volt. I recently used my EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 to power a 240 volt welder in the middle of my road where I'm installing a gate. Now I will have an upcoming video showing this in more detail, but this was a pretty heavy duty project and this unit had no issues whatsoever running my welder for an extensive amount of time. But what sets each model apart? To begin, we'll look at the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. And in the comparison, anything I highlight in green means this model has an advantage or a better feature. Red means lesser of the two models. So starting with the Delta Pro 3, the price is an advantage at $27.99. The battery capacity is also an advantage of 4,096 watt hours. The power output is 4,000 watts continuous with 6,000 surge. Additionally, this model can handle solar input of 2,600 watts split between a high and a low interface. It also has the fastest switching UPS at just 10 milliseconds. That's ideal for computers or network equipment. Both the Anker and the Delta can be expanded, but the Delta can handle three head units, allowing it to output 12,000 watts continuous or up to 48 kilowatts of battery power. And a big deal this year is the Delta Pro 3 has the UL9540 certification. This is the only power station on the market that has this certification. The Delta Pro 3 is also the only model that supports directly connecting their own generator. This is a dual fuel model, and you can use the generator on the anchor, but this EcoFlow model directly connects to the batteries using DC power. It gives you more efficient charging of the batteries, but additionally it communicates with the power station, meaning the generator will only turn on when it's needed. EcoFlow continues to use their horizontal design, where Anchor is a vertical design. Now I find that vertical design really desirable inside a place like an office where you want to stash it in a closet or keep it next to a desk. But I do prefer EcoFlow's design for taking the thing outside or using it in an RV. I just find having the plugs in front and the unit not being so tall is much more convenient in a portable situation. EcoFlow is also the only company that uses hard physical doors to cover up their ports. Now maybe that doesn't sound like a big deal, but if you've ever used those rubber doors, eventually they get loose, sometimes they don't fit in the plugs, and EcoFlow themselves use that style in the past, but I really prefer these physical doors instead. Now let's look at the Anker. It comes in a bit more expensive at $29.99, and the internal battery is smaller at 3840 watt hours, but it does have more output at 6000 watts. But it does make up for that by having a greater solar input at handling 3200 watts. It also offers an internal UPS, albeit slower at 20 milliseconds. That's not going to be ideal for a computer or network equipment, but it would be fine for things like appliances. And unfortunately, the F3800 Plus does not have any UL certification currently. The Anker uses a vertical design. Now this can be handy in places like an office or if you want to stick it in a closet, but both models can actually be lied down. You can still use them. It's not a safety issue whatsoever. The Anker uses these rubber covers and they work fine, but as you can see, they do flop around and occasionally they get torn off. And that could be a plus if you don't want them in place, but I personally do like those EcoFlow doors a lot better. Here's a hot item that's really come up recently because when Anker first released the F3800, it had terrible standby losses. That's just simply when you leave your power station on, even when you're not drawing any power, you want to know how much electricity the unit is just using internally. Now the good news is Anker released a firmware update that totally updated their F3800 Plus. So originally it used up about 50% of the battery in just 24 hours. Now the Anker Solix uses about 25% of its battery up in a 24 hour period. Meaning if you just left it idle, you're going to lose about 960 watt hours. There's no way to completely eliminate all standby losses. The EcoFlow was more efficient in standby losses, only losing about 23% of its battery capacity, but it's got a larger battery, which equates into just 942 watt hours in a 24 hour period. The Anker and the EcoFlow can both be expanded, meaning you can plug multiple power units into each other. Additionally, you can add many batteries, but if you add too many, it starts to not really become worth it, and you might want to look at larger models that simply have more battery capacity natively. 
you can connect two of the Anker F3800 Pluses together, giving you a total output of 12,000 watts. Additionally, you can add eight batteries in total, giving you about 31 kilowatt hours of storage. The EcoFlow allows you to connect three power units together, but because it outputs only 4,000 watts per unit, the three actually give you the same output as the Anker, totaling 12,000 watts. And if you maxed out the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 with the total number of batteries, it would give you about 37 kilowatt hours of storage. Both the Anker or the EcoFlow give you an included app at no cost with no monthly fees. Now, personally, I think the EcoFlow app looks a little bit better. It also has more things like rules, scheduling, and power settings that many people may want to use, especially on larger installations. But I think that's just because EcoFlow was the first company to actually come out with an app for a power station at all. So it's likely that over time, the Anker app will improve. So which one is better, the Anker or the EcoFlow, is really going to depend on you. I do like the fact the EcoFlow is cheaper, but there are some features in it that may be important to you that might not exist on either the EcoFlow or the Anker. So you really do have to dive in to figure out which one's going to work and be the best value for you. But I do hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.